Yo, this is the time to play Pokemon Black 2. We've been some stuff now in the Curious City. We even met the Shadow Triad up here and across this bridge. We beat him in a single battle, a triple battle, and a rotation battle, and then they vanished off. Hopefully, for good. But now, it's time to do what we've all been wanting to do to get a legendary Pokemon. Make sure you have your Ultra Balls and stuff ready because this is going to be a very hard battle. A very tough Pokemon to fight, so make sure you have enough Pokeballs to capture this magnificent beast. Master Ball, of course, you can use if you really feel like you're struggling. You're like, oh, I just want to get it. I just want to go through it. I have 30 Ultra Balls. I don't think that's enough. If you also play on the evening time, then you can also use a uh, Dusk Ball. I don't think Dusk Ball will work inside the top of... Um I'm not sure, actually, if I'll Dusk Ball will even work. But then we have 90 of them, so that's gonna be good. I'm not even sure if the old Dusk Ball is even gonna work on top of the uh, place, because I think you can fly from there, and if you can fly, it's not inside, so. Alright, we're probably not gonna buy Ultra Ball, that's what I want to buy. Let's buy. Uh, actually, buy a max of them. 69, because then we have 99 Ultra Balls. And so we have capped Ultra Balls, we can't buy more of them. If we can, we can buy more. And you can then just cast another slot in your inventory. A potion you want to get as well. Let's buy 25, then we have 40 of them. There we go. Revive as well, do you want to get those? Yeah, let's buy 13 of them. Because if you get KO'd, you need to revive your Pokémon. And if you can't revive a Pokémon, you're gonna struggle. Actually, probably to buy some more of those as well. Let's buy... Uh, uh, 48 more, then you have 60. No, 70 actually. We have all the money for it, so let's save the rest of the money for uh, buying some TMs later on. Alright, now for the main prize, let's go north into the Dragon Spiral Tower, up here. Across this uh, path here, and here it is. We still don't know anything about it. Could the Dragon Spiral Tower somehow symbolize ideals? Could it be somehow represent truth? Ah, it's you, Zedric. So you came here as well. It was two years ago. In this tower, a certain man and a certain Pokemon came face to face. This man pursued his ideals so he could change the world. That's right. This building is racing certainly into the sky. It's a dragon spiral tower. It has towered over this land since before you know it was founded. On the highest floor, the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon was waiting for the appearance of a person seeking his or her ideals. It was exactly how the legend said it would be. Ah, the Darkstone! If that's the case, you must be headed to the top floor. Changing the world? That's an outrageous idea, but it's possible to change yourself. As long as you pursue your ideals. My, that conversation sure took a serious turn. Maybe something light and sweet will help balance things out. And we get the old Gato. Be seeing you. And here we go. Inside the Dragon Spot Tower we go because the legendary Pokemon is waiting for us. Now, of course, in this place you'll be fading off against wild Pokemon. If you don't want to face them, get out your Max Repel so we can start running upwards. This place, of course, was filled with uh, Team Plasma baddies in the black and white. No longer the case here, it's empty. So we can go up here in this ruinous place. Of course, there's a lot of puzzles here in order to go to the top. That doesn't bother me though. Let's go with Strength Arcanine. Let's go collect some treasure. Some item here, for example. A Ultra Ball. Another one. Now we have another Ultra Ball. I guess that's. Uh, I guess good. That's kind of really say not that, I guess. Let's just keep on going. A lot of cool stuff in this floor, but generally the best floor you want to go to is floor number 5. Cool. Okay, this is a jumping puzzle. Uh, let's go to the bottom one, I guess. Let's just skip. We can get some items here, like shiny stone, protein, and so on. Um... We got floor number 4, I think. Or is it 5? Can't even remember. Ah, here we go. 
This is where we're gonna go for. Because then we get three important items. If you come for legendary Pokemon from Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, we get the Adamant Orb. Yep. That's for uh, uh, Dialga. We get the Grizzly's Orb for uh, uh, Giratina. And the Lesser's Orb for Palkia. So with these ones, you can empower your legendary Pokemon from Generation 4. Remember the Alga for Admat Orb, Lustrous Orb for Palkia, and the Grease's Orb for Giratina. So if you pick them up in the other games, they don't summon them though. But if you have them hold it, their moves will increase damage of their own type. Moves by 20%. It's pretty good. Remember the Alga is the... Was against Steel and Dragon. Uh, Palkia is uh, Water and uh, Dragon. And uh, Giotina is Ghost and Dragon. Go on top here. We are on the fifth floor, and this is going to be important because there's a TM we want to get here. I can remember where it is. Let's go get those TMs before we continue up to the top floor. Let's go up here. And we get it, the TMO2, Dragon Claw. A very good move against Dragon types, because they can be really annoying to fight. And getting it here is also kind of like a sign that you probably should get it, because with this, you probably can even make things go pretty cool. Let's see, yeah. Do we get anyone who can learn the Dragon Claw on my team? I don't think we can. We can check it out. Let's see, Gmo 2, Dragon Claw. Oh, we can go to the Crocodile. But only has Outrage though, so I'll stick with Outrage. But if you want to learn Dragon Claw instead, you can do that, but in my opinion, Outrage is probably better. Don't hit to collect another item. It's a PP Max. A very, very uh, powerful thing to get because PP Max maximizes the PP bonus gain from PP Up on a single Pokemon. So, we're gonna get this for sure. It's a super important item. Because then you have a lot more moves to use for your Pokemon. Max Revive as well, super important because it will not only revive your Pokemon, it will heal your Pokemon to full. And we want that to happen because sometimes you can get knocked out and you want to revive and you have to heal the next turn. That's bad. We're now on the sixth floor. Up here we get a Comet Shard. Yeah, a lot of nice, nice things for us here. Then we go one last floor, up to the seventh floor. This is where we had to fight against the Team Plasma guys, if you remember. Yeah. And the thing is shaking. The Dark Soul is trembling inside the bag. Take out the bag? Uh, not yet. Because there are also some things we can uh, check here. We can do it right now. There's supposed to be a combat shard as well hidden, but that's fine. Anyways, we know where we are. So make sure you're ready for this upcoming battle. I will go in minus on first because of the paralyzing effects. I'll make it easier to capture. Once you're ready, make sure to save your game and everything because once you go past this, there's no turning back. Here we go. Take Darks out of the back. Yes. Darkstone goes out. I'm going to charge in the power of the top of the Dragon Spot Tower. And with that, Darkstone draws the aura of the surroundings and converts into a powerful force, which is now being released. You get a little sequence of the Darkstone completely twirling in power. It's in, in erupting. And from it comes a Pokemon we have seen before. There it is. It is Zekrom! The legendary Pokemon of Dragon and Electric. Alright, now we have to need to change your game, save your game, whatever, because coming up now, the legendary battle with Zekrom. If 
you're playing Y2, you'll have the Lightstone being released, and up in front of you will be Reshiram. Once you're ready, step forward and let the battle begin. And here we go! Zekrom appeared. He's level 70 still, same as the one where to battle him at the end's castle. We'll start with Magna Zone. He has a Terra Vault, which means his uh, electrical power will be getting a huge boost. Let's go with first with uh, Thunder Wave. He's gonna use Strength on us. That will deal a good amount of damage, but not as much because, again, we are resistant to. Dragon as a steel type. Here comes a Thunder Wave onto Zekrom to paralyze him. I mean, it'll be a bit easier to deal with instead of him having to trash us and destroy us one by one. Of course, we want to capture him. We want to make sure he won't be able to deal damage to us, so we have to spend time reviving and healing. Let's use Flash to reduce his accuracy. I mean, that his moves will be hitting and missing. Imprison is next. Good move to use because he'll steal our opponent's moves. But that really won't work that much for him. We can only imprison moves that is basically the same thing as he has. Accuracy fails again. He's still paralyzed. So this is really good. That means he has his, when he moves, he can miss. And when he, he's not paralyzed, he can't move at all. So that's pretty good. Dragon Claw is going to miss. There is Flash. Use more flashes to get his uh, accuracy down. He's paralyzed still. He has a lot of free turns for moving. Another flash on Zekrom. I mean that he will almost be almost impossible to deal damage to us now because now he will only be missing. No more flash to do it. I think that's the maximum flash. It'll be good enough anyways. His pilot's not able to move and now it's time to deal some damage. Don't use Thunderbolt here because he's quadruple resistant to electric, being dragon and electric. Let's go with Flash Cannon, even though the Flash Cannon will deal reduced damage as well because his electric Pokemon are resistant to steel. Here comes the Flash Cannon on to Zekrom. Damage is pretty low. Sun Headbutt will miss because uh, he has such a high flash on him. He's almost blinded. Poor guy. He's paralyzed and blinded. Another flash cannon is used on Zekrom. Damage is pretty low. Still only half health. We need to get him to the red zone before we can start capturing him. Here comes a flash cannon. There we go. Damage is pretty decent still. Fusion Bolt is gonna hit. Damage is uh, still we can survive. Actually, I'm thinking I was checking a bit regarding Dusk Balls in the Dragon Spout Tower. Apparently, it's still considered inside. I can remember, that's good for us. He did do more damage to him though. Let's do another uh, flash cannon on him. Oh, we're in the red zone, but I don't know if we want to do some more damage to him though. Because I'm afraid he might get KO'd. Let's switch our Pokemon a bit, because our uh, Magnum is getting a bit low. Go with Crocodile perhaps. Crocodile is immune to his electric moves. And uh, he also knows. Um, uh, Sun Headbutt, and then he's also immune to that because it's a psychic type. Let's get in uh, our beloved big crocodile. Be careful though, don't do any damage to him or he might get swept out. Here comes Dragon Claw. We should manage to hit it though. On Crocodile, this will deal a lot of damage to us. I will survive it though, but I'm not going to do any damage to it because I'm afraid I'm getting KO'd. Alright. I think we can still use Dusk Balls in here, so let's use Dusk Ball. Here we go. First attempt. It's gonna go straight out. Damn it. Sun Headbutt will not work because I'm immune to it, being a dark type. There we go. One, two, three, and. Wow! On the second attempt, we get Zekrom! Wow! That was pretty interesting. I thought maybe that Duskball wouldn't work on him because we are kind of in like outdoor perhaps, but I guess it 
and was mixing it with the uh, Celestial Tower, but doesn't really matter though, we beat it and we capture it. Great! Let's check out its Pokedex stats. Zekrom, deep black Pokemon. Look at the stats though. 9 feet, 6 inches, 760 pounds. That's a huge and heavy Pokemon. This legendary Pokemon can scorch the world with lightning. It assists those who want to build an ideal world. That sounds good to me. Oh boy, that is nice. Very, very nice. Oh, it's N. Zekrom has recognized you as the new hero. That's right. As a trainer with a will strong enough to change the world. I have something to tell you. Go to the giant chasm. Chiram has returned. That's what my friend has told me. Sitano, the world that you desire for Pokemon and humans. I look forward to seeing how full of love that world is. Someday, Pokemon and humans will be bound together without Pokeballs. They'll simply trust and help one another. Make that kind of world. That will be kind of cool, though. But man, we were lucky this time. Well, we still be lucky, though, when we want to fight up against uh, Kyurem. So, we got Zekrom on our second attempt with the Dusk Ball. That was pretty impressive. Maybe the Flash perhaps helped a bit as well. I don't know. Phew, that was pretty interesting, but we did capture Zekrom, and it's time for us to get out of here. Let's use Escape Rope. Oh, for that doesn't work. Unfortunately, that means we have to run out. But yeah, if you were playing White 2, you were facing Reshram instead, because Reshram is the one you face in White. And in the... I mean, in White 2 and Black. If you play White and Black 2, which ones I have, you'll always face Zekrom, so... It's a bit of a negative thing about playing um, different games, because then you'll be facing up against the different Pokémon all the time, which is a, a bit negative thing, I can say, but that's fine. I just don't want to play like White and White 2 and Black and Black 2. I just want to have a different one. The only problem is then I'll have to face the same Legendary Pokémon. No restroom for me by playing uh, Pokémon uh, White and Black 2. If you're playing Black and White 2, you'll always face restroom, so that's fine, though. We should collect some items here while we here, maybe. There's no repel. Let's go up here. A protein. What is good to increase uh, permanent stats of your attack power? Let's go down here, maybe. Uh, that wasn't the right one. We need to use the middle one. Uh, this one. Another item here. What we get is a shiny stone. Shiny Stone can be used to evolve certain Pokemon, so if you want to get some cool Pokemon that can be evolved with a Shiny Stone, make sure they have a Shiny Stone with you, so they can evolve. Just be careful. Majority of times when you evolve a Pokemon with a Evolutionary Stone, they will be unable to learn any new moves. So make sure you have learned the moves with your prior evolution, and then use the Shining Stone, or whatever stone you use, Fire Stone, Leaf Stone, doesn't matter. Anyways, our business at the Akira City is now over. Next episode, guys, we're going to go to the Giant Chasm one more time. It's the same place where you battled against uh, Jetsis and his Skyrim. It's inside here. So uh, make sure to go there right away. So next episode, we're going to fight Skyrim. And we'll see if we'll be as lucky as we did with uh, Reshiram capturing him on the first attempt. Or actually, not the first, the second attempt. But remember, Skyrim is inside a cave. So, Dusk Balls will work against him for sure. And then after that, we'll see what happens. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. You can find me on the links below. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So, I'll see you next time as my journey in Pokemon Black 2 continues.